Welcome. This is a brief demonstration of seven student projects that utilize Blackboard REST API and uh, were created for CS 371 class. All our projects are going to use REST API, which is available at uh, developer.blackboard.com. And uh, we are using a, a development uh, copy of uh, Blackboard Learn. So the way to access the projects is to go ahead and select a course. Uh, depending on the project, uh, we may need to be an instructor or a student. And then upon uh, clicking in the area where the, where the project was deployed, we're going to go ahead and launch the project. In this instance, the first project is the GVC Rate My Professor, which uh, is going to uh, allow uh, students to provide feedback and ratings for the professors. So as I add a new rating, I have uh, an Ajax uh, control that allows me to uh, select a number of stars. I have some links to campus uh, resources and I can uh, provide uh, feedback and then leave this feedback uh, for other students and to come up with totals. So this is uh, the first project and of course I love the idea of uh, um, creating a better version of uh, RateMyProfessors.com. Now next we have a project which is uh, aimed at uh, helping uh, students prepare for an exam. So on this per particular um, project we have uh, a link to practice exam which has a selection of questions and uh, these questions uh, will provide some live feedback. So if I select an answer I know uh, how, I, how I'm doing. I also can then search for uh, questions. So if I'm searching for a specific topic, I can do that. And uh, if questions are more complex, uh, the, the feedback is going to uh, be uh, ongoing. Uh, if I uh, choose to uh, select the wrong answer, of course, I have that uh, ongoing feedback. So this is a great way to practice and then we also have a feature here with a discussion where we can uh, leave uh, uh, some uh, feedback and discuss perhaps uh, the questions. We also have um, an admin section which is uh, password protected um, through um, basic authentication and here we can preview uh, logs uh, for this application. Uh, we can uh, uh, also uh, uh, view uh, anything from the database. So we could say something like select all from review questions to go ahead and uh, see what's in the database. Our next project is to help uh, students provide uh, formative feedback on assignments. So in our test course we have just a few uh, gradebook items and these gradebook items are then listed here and allow students to go ahead and provide feedback. So this is a nice way for students to uh, provide ongoing feedback on assignments uh, to, to help uh, faculty understand what's going on in the class. Now these uh, uh, levels of uh, feedback are submitted immediately through uh, Ajax and we can go ahead and preview this as the instructor where we have a nice graphic here of um, uh, level of feedback and of course it's a way for the instructors to uh, be able to make uh, changes but also to be in contact and in touch with uh, the reception of, um, of the assignments. Our next uh, project takes us from Blackboard onto this screen. Uh, the REST API is pulling the uh, student names. I uh, will uh, select uh, perhaps uh, in this arrangement our name We'll go ahead and submit. And we then are asked to select uh, our course. We'll go ahead and do that. And uh, then there's a test here, uh, which uh, we're asked to uh, take. And so we'll do that. And then we press submit. Now, you might have noticed that uh, the questions that we were asked a moment ago were not very uh, significant. And in fact, the last one had all 100% as answers. Uh, however, the point of this particular application is not necessarily to collect that data because we already know 
uh, who is registered for which course, and uh, uh, the, the last set of questions was not um, very informative. However, the key to this application is this screen. As you can see, the uh, loading status bar never will actually complete. Uh, this application is meant to uh, survey how long people are willing to wait before pressing quit or abandoning the application. So while we uh, indicated that we are perhaps interested in some feedback, we created some buy-in by the user to go ahead and wait, now we want to know how long the user is going to wait. And so we'll go ahead and press quit when we cannot wait anymore and then we can see how long other uh, users uh, have waited uh, that uh, took the same uh, took the same uh, survey. So it's a way to uh, perform a little research on uh, uh, the levels of patients and uh, perhaps uh, correlate some of the questions that are asked ahead of time. Our next project is a discussion forum. In this discussion forum, we're appointed to a lobby. Um, the uh, discussion forum uh, is going to actually randomize the names of stu student usernames. Uh, so uh, it is an anonymous way for uh, students to share, but of course, uh, we know who is, uh, who is logging in uh, from Blackboard. So we can go ahead and post uh, our answer here. And uh, this would be then uh, visible to, to um, all the other students. All right, for our next uh, project, uh, we have a storytelling application where students log in through Blackboard and each contributes part of the story. So uh, we can go ahead and do that. And then uh, to serve as characters in the story, we're pulling names of the students uh, from uh, the current course. So uh, this uh, application is called Ribbit because, uh, of course, it's sort of a, a, a chatter between, uh, between frogs who are creating a story all together. Our last application is uh, uh, a registration system. Uh, we are able to uh, log in uh, to the application uh, and then uh, we would uh, click on uh, courses uh, where we can add an additional course. Now the courses are uh, taken from uh, the uh, current uh, Blackboard Learn that we're connected to and so we can select the course and uh, then it'll appear in our registered courses. We can then remove courses uh, as needed. And uh, finally um, we are going to perhaps maintain our account uh, we can also see the version of the Blackboard system we're connected to uh, upon logging off. Uh, we can come back here as, uh, as a, a new student. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I believe there's, uh, there's a way to do that. Here we go. And so we we'll go ahead and uh, enter the application uh, again. So, thank you very much uh, for your attention to uh, these uh, projects. Uh, they were developed uh, uh, within uh, about a two-week uh, period of time, and uh, they, again, used uh, REST API, uh, JavaScript, uh, CSS, uh, HTML, and um, jQuery and Ajax. Thank you very much.